Welcome to a video tour of the Exhibitor ROI and Success Center. I'm Cassie niez pujavinsky Senior Coordinator, Exhibitor Services at Winsight LLC. In this video, we'll explore the dedicated webpage to the tools, training, and resources we provide in order for you, our exhibitor, to maximize your impact at the National Restaurant Association Show 2020. First step is to go to nationalrestaurantshow.com. From our homepage here, click Menu, the hamburger, in the top left corner. Then, in the far right column, click Current Exhibitors to see the drop-down. From here, you can navigate to each individual dedicated web page of your Exhibitor Services Suite. For this video, we want to click on Exhibitor ROI Center. At the top of this web page, you'll see this graphic, which also will be on the PDF we have available. We feel that these are the key step-by-steps and building blocks to having a successful show. We'll follow up on these a little bit more in the webinar. The quick links here is our menu for this web page. The first three correlate to the three sections we feel are most important as you're planning for your ROI and success at the show. Plan, promote, and post show. Each step will fall into these three categories. Next, we have a section on marketing materials that are available to you. And finally, we have exhibitor training, where you found this video and where others will be added throughout the show cycle that will help you get a better handle on all of the processes you need to handle the show. First up in the plan section, we have the download PDF hyperlink. This PDF correlates to each section on this web page as well, so you can feel free to send this along to other team members while you plan for success at the show. In purple, we have activities that are critical to success at the show. And in black, we have activities that are there to enhance success. This graphic is a great start to have in mind and even print out to have on show site to remember what your objectives are. We'll go over each section that's also available on the web page, but this PDF has helpful hyperlinks and other information that you may need as well. It's a good idea to download this and to favorite the web page as well. Back on the web page, the first step is to set objectives and goals. This is the most important step before you even start planning any of the other things you want to have happen at the show. It's really essential that you know what your ROI should look like so that you can measure it properly at the end of the show. We have this objectives worksheet that you can fill out and download to really enhance that experience. You can use this yourself or work with it with your management team. It's also a good idea that once this is finalized within your team to hand it out to the staff that will be on site so they are also on the same page for what's important and what our goals are at the show. Next is to update your company listing. We reviewed this briefly on the Exhib Exhibitor Essentials video. Click through to your Exhibitor dashboard and use your login to update your company listing to be as robust as possible. This is what the attendees view when they search for your company, whether it's on our website or through the app. You'll want to update your company profile, product categories, and more so that you have the most filled out profile as possible when attendees are making their plans to visit the show. Most attendees view the website ahead of the show and pre-plan what booths they're going to visit, so don't miss out on this critical time to show yourself off. Also available in the dashboard, you can upgrade your exhibitor listing. We have different package options where you can change things like adding videos, images, and specific products. For more information, please view the final slide on this video of how to contact sales. Clicking through here will bring you to the homepage of our exhibitor dashboard where you can use your login from your approval email or your invoice email to sign in. Next is training booth staff. We feel that this really goes hand in hand with making goals for the show. Once you've, setting, once you've set your goals, training your booth staff to achieve them is the next critical step reviewing them with your staff, and also going over certain staff training tips, like not being on your phone and having open body language while you're at the booth. Next is also Experient, which is our official registration and lead retrieval service provider. Lead retrieval is a great way to have your staff um, work with attendees while they're in your booth and to capture those leads while they're on site and follow up with them afterwards. You can also familiarize yourself with the attendee badges. This hyperlink is available on the PDF to see the different symbols we have for our attendee categories. Print this out and bring it on site and make sure that everyone knows who you're looking for as best to capture. The next general section is promote. Promoting your presence at the show, whether it be through marketing materials and exhibitor invites and word of mouth, it's important to get your word out there. 
There are marketing materials available on this web page, like web banners, email banners, logos, and more. Make sure the attendees who are visiting your website regularly and are planning on attending the show know you'll be there. Engaging with your attendees and your audience via social media is also a great free step to take. We have dedicated channels on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Instagram. So by using the National Restaurant Association Show 2020 hashtag, you can get engaged in that conversation. The hashtag for this year is hashtag restaurant show 2020. Be sure to use that on all your posts and you never know, we might feature you as well. Promote your presence early and often. Most exhibitors wait until the two weeks preceding the show to really get the word out. When there's so much noise, it can be hard to break through. It's never too early to tell your attendees where you'll be and to make sure that your booth is can't miss for them. Clicking the link here will bring you to the marketing materials that we have available. There's an email template to let guests know where you'll be, and also social media ads that format to each specific social media channel available here. We have show logos that you can download and utilize, and finally, we have web banners that you can also download and customize to let everyone know where you'll be, whether this is via email or on your dedicated um, company website. Back up in the promote section, we also have inviting customers to show. Did you know that you can use your leftover allotment of, of exhibitor badges to invite attendees to the show? Whether you have already used your allotment or would like to use your leftover allotment, you can do this through registration. In your exhibitor dashboard, click Registration Services to go to the Experient webpage and see what your options are. You can also rent the attendee list directly through Winsight LLC. With this email feature, you can send an e-blast to a dedicated customer base, selecting from many options such as location, attendee segment, and more. This is a great way to let people know what's going to be at your booth and what is so exciting about Restaurant Show 2020 for your company. There's also ample sponsorship opportunities. Whether you're a smaller company starting up or a larger company looking to make a big splash, we have a great opportunity for you. Again, on the last page of this slideshow, we'll have more information on how to contact sales. There's also a sponsorship gallery in your exhibitor dashboard. Clicking on the exhibitor dashboard and then going into the sponsorship tile, you'll see what's available and what the impact of those sponsorships is. Next is public relations. This is another great resource that we provide to you in, by way of the 2020 registered press list. This you can download from your exhibitor dashboard and send out your press kit in advance of the show. We have press kit tips if you need to create one and also a press release template that you can have in your profile. Once you're at the show, you can also bring uh, dedicated copies of your press kit to the press showroom. This is located in room N226 on Friday, May 18th from noon to 5 p.m. And the final section is post-show. Once the show is finished, a lot of decisions get made in those two weeks following with different companies. So be sure to follow up on those leads while they're still hot and that you're still fresh on their minds. You can also rent the attendee list again from Winsight to follow up and say thank you to everyone who visited your booth and attach more information in case some of your customers weren't able to visit you. We've already reviewed the exhibitor marketing materials. And so finally is our exhibitor training section. Whether you're a first time exhibitor with our show or if you're a returning veteran who just wants to brush up on our specific show, as every trade show is different, this training section will have videos added throughout the show cycle that can help you out. We have a dedicated lead retrieval and what's best for you directly from our Experient partner. We'll also have GES videos that are on the different areas of GES and how they can be most useful to you. We have this video on your ROI center and more will be coming up throughout the year. So be sure to check back. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We hope it helps you to take the critical steps to maximize your success and ROI at the National Restaurant Association Show 2020. If you have more questions on sponsorships or upgrading your exhibitor listing, please email nraexhibitinfo at winsightmedia.com. For help on any of the resources we covered here or more questions, please email nraexhibitorservices at winsightmedia.com. Thank you again. We're here to help.